video for those that can see this video for um me being able to enter this contest that's going on and this contest is a uh, kind of a dream job disney plus the dream job and this is the uh, Win a thousand dollars if you watch 30 films. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you guys can see it yourselves. But I am in my Disney attire with um, complete with Jack Skellington hood. Oh, wait, no. Bam. See that? Yes. Yes. And um, you guys know I have this cup with me all the time. And I love Disney. You guys know I love Disney. I talk about Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin nonstop all the time. I just recently saw the new Mary Poppins movie. Fell in love with it. Love it. And um, they're really serious about this. And I am entering it now because I want to talk about how much I want to. I love Disney. You guys know how much I love Disney. Like, seriously. Okay, because the, direct, the instructions are right here. Okay, and I will screenshot it so you guys can see. The instructions are right here. And um, you have to watch 30 Disney-related films. I mean, all of them. In 30 days. I don't know if you can watch it back-to-back -back like that and watch, like, maybe seven in a day or eight. Me, I probably might end up watching 20 in one day. I have 10 more to go. <laughs> True story. Um, so, you just... What it says here, you have to uh, show that you're the biggest fan of Mickey and Friends by applying. Just send a... a just... Tell them about us, yourself... A few easy questions. Don't forget to submit a video of your um, video review of your absolutely favorite Disney movie, which we all know is what, children? Beauty and the Beast. Yes, and they want to hear all about it. If you have any questions, their stuff is right there for you to contact them. And you guys know my absolute favorite movie is Beauty and the Beast. I fell in love with that movie. It came out the year that I was born. I wish it could be in French so I can watch it in its native language. I mean, and if they have it in French, then I'll get it in French. But, yeah. I have gotten the very last version of my Beauty and the Beast. I have it on VHS tape, the original VHS tape. I have it on DVD. I have the live action. I have the book um, on my bookshelf. I've seen the live action more times than I can count. I've even seen the French version of Beauty and the Beast. Um, and there's so there's been so many different versions of Beauty and the Beast, like Beastly that came out. Um, the TV show Beauty and the Beast as well. Absolutely love them both. Good show. Good movie. Love it. And uh, yeah, Disney, when Disney did it, it was like, oh gosh freaking amazing i watch it every time to be honest with you i know everything word for word i capture the emotions quickly and um i will actually cry on a dime like at the end of the movie when she's cradling the prince or beast when he's about to die and he doesn't i can cry on cue and um i don't have a video of that or else i would show you guys it's okay. Um, <laughs> I'm dead serious. I love that movie so much. I love the music. I love the new song that they, or the new song. It's a new but old song that was written by Howard Ashman before he passed away and um, called Human Again. And he put it in my DVD version of the movie. Absolutely love it. My son sings it now every time he watches it. And I'm very, I'm very like touched about that. What's funny is when Beauty and the Beast came out in 1991, I was born in 1991. When the live action version came out in 2017, my youngest was born in 2017. So it's kind of weird because I'm the second born and he's the second born. And I was like, what the heck? Is that a repeat offense or something like that? So it was pretty funny and it was pretty weird at the same time. It's like, wow. No, this is not my costume. This year for Halloween, me and my kids are going to be the Toy Story characters. Woody, Jesse, and Buzz. And my niece is coming with us as Bo Peep. Um, not the classic Bo Peep from the first, um, from the first two movies, but Toy Story 4 Bo Peep. Back to what I was saying, Beauty and the Beast is, um, it kind of taught me to, well, it didn't kind of taught me, it did teach me to love the person for what's on the inside instead of looking on the outside. And, um, and that helped me a lot because when I was younger, I always used to look at the looks and be like, oh my God, they're so cute and blah, 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 blah. Didn't even really care about the personality. Until I got a little bit older and I'm like, I watched Beauty and the Beast again and I actually watched it. Like, really, really watched it. Like, I watched it many times, but I really, really watched it and dug deeper into it. And it's like, pay attention to the personality before you 
focus on the looks because the looks can tell you everything. But, there's that but, there's that comma. So, um, that, that movie, it was like, oh God, because when you watch Gaston and you see him in both the live action and the, ca- and the um, cartoon, it's like, you're so pompous, self-absorbed. Would I even get in the mirrors l- later? No. But, <laughs> I, and I, I can't stand people like that either. It's like, when you're so full of yourself that you forget about everyone and you just want it for yourself because you feel as though you should have it, no, nah, you're not. No, no. So, and I admire Bella for that because I believe for me growing up, she was one of the very few princesses that was just like, uh, pump your brakes. I don't want none. As cute as you are, you're not getting me. And I was like, wow, (laughs) okay. (laughs) And I was like, okay, yeah. And then, um, I mean, after that, year after year, each Disney princess has their own story. But she was one of the ones that was just like, no. When you sacrifice yourself for your father's and and take your father's place in a dungeon, you're automatic, hands down. That's points. When you save your parents in a Disney film, that's points. I'm sorry, it's just points. I can't. I it's, look. Now the live action Disney um, Beauty and the Beast, I absolutely love. You gave an origin story to Belle and her father on what happened to her mother, and it made me cry. It really did. And the same thing with Beast. Like, his parents. What happened to his parents? You know what I mean? How was he, you know, what, how, like, why would this spoiled brat, how did he even become a spoiled brat? Because he couldn't have been a spoiled brat all of his life. No one ever is. You start off in a certain way and you either change um, from the perspective or um, from the influence of others or you change from the influence of yourself. And in that case, it was his dad. Spoiler alert for those who haven't seen the movie. Uh... <laughs> After his mother passed. Um, And it was so emotionally good. It was amazing. I love the live action film. It actually did the movie justice. And plus some. I think Howard Ashman would absolutely have loved the live action film. And Alan Rickman. Hey guys. I meant to say Alan Menken. I'm sorry Disney. I meant to say Alan Menken. I was just so enamored with the movie. And it's like oh god I love the movie so much. I really didn't mean to say Alan Menken. So yeah. I mean, you, dude, are a freaking genius. I mean, how many movies have you done that I absolutely love? Can we go down the list? Freaking Hercules, um, Little Mermaid with Howard Ashman, Aladdin, and, um, oh gosh, what's another one that I absolutely love? Uh, oh god, I believe Lion King, if I'm not mistaken. No, that was, um, that was, um, um, oh god, why did his name go away? Elton John, I'm sorry. (laughs) <laughs> that was Elton John. Um, but you did so many... There, there's other movies that I can't remember off the top of my head like, like that quickly. But there's so many movies from him. From, or so many music from Alan and Alan and Howard that I absolutely love. And Beauty and the Beast happens to be one of my favorite. 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 Favorite um, pieces that they've done. Like, I can watch it and never be bored of it. I can wake up and was so human again. And at the same time, um, <laughs> we just sing Be Our Guest. Like, I like the fact that the live action Lion King took a jab at Beauty and the Beast. Like, okay, really? Uh huh. I kind of felt that. I'm like, I'm a little bit insulted. See, that's, that's my birthier movie, so y'all got me there. Okay. I absolutely love Disney. I love Disney movies. I love what it's turning into now. With more princesses being like, I don't need a man to help me save the day. Um, I can do this. Y'all just sit back and I got it. I love that. I love how it's transcending and helping little girls now. Like, my niece loves to read because of Belle. And, but she's hard-headed and stubborn like Merida. <laughs> Very much so. Um, and I absolutely love that. I don't think with me growing up I had different movies that I absolutely loved and different place or things that I used to watch that I absolutely loved you had Nickelodeon you had Boomerang you had Disney and you had Cartoon Network and Disney used to be the one I gravitate to because you had the three main princesses for me or the few main princesses for me growing up which was Ariel, Belle, Aurora, Cinderella and Snow White and Pocahontas that was it. <laughs> that was it. Those are all the princesses. And now with more princesses being added to it, and it's like, 
gotta respect the OGs. Respect the OGs. So, I am very happy that I was able to make this video for you, Disney Plus. I hope I get a chance to do this for you. And if not, well, then you know what? At least my subscribers know that how much I love Disney. Love Disney. Like I'm so I love Disney so much. I really wanted to take my kids to the how um to Mickey's Not So Scary um Halloween um party in Disney um Disney World. I couldn't, and it's okay. We'll try again next year. Um, I guess I definitely want to go. Definitely. I mean, the Sanderson sisters are there. Are you serious? Come on. Um, like for real. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching Disney Plus. I hope you choose me, and if not, it's okay. Um. I love you regardless, and I can't wait for the new app. Congratulations on the new app coming out. Um, I will link everything in the description below for my subscribers that want to enter, and you can make your own videos. And um, please leave a thumbs up. S um, subscribe to Oh My Disney and the Disney Channel um, YouTube channels that will leave around the video or in the video at the end of the video, so you guys can see it for yourself. I will leave a link to this application for you guys to enter in the description below. I love you all very much and I hope you have a magical day. <laughs> and happy Halloween, you guys. Love you all. Bye.